The runoff is now set, and some people might be surprised with Paul Vallis and Brandon Johnson in the race and Mayor Lightfoot out. Joining me is political consultant Delmarie Cobb to go over what happened. Good morning to you, Delmarie. So nice to have you on this morning. Um, I have to say, those of us who've been covering Chicago politics for such a long time realize what a huge upset this is for the mayor during the last runoff against Preckwinkle. She won all 50 wards. What happened to Mayor Lightfoot? Well, um, being actual mayor happened. Uh, when you're running for mayor, it's very different from governing. And so uh, what we saw in Lori Lightfoot as a leader of the city is that she had a, she picked a lot of fights and a lot of the fights were unnecessary fights. Um, she, yeah, she did some good. Nobody can deny that she didn't do some good, but she made a lot of enemies along the way and she didn't have to. I mean, when you win 50 wards, that means that you have won the, uh, the, the benevolence of the entire city. They want to see you do good. They've put their trust in you and unknown and she didn't take that to mean that she had, she, well, she took it to mean that she had the power instead of the position. She didn't understand that she did not have the same power as Daly or Rahm Emanuel. What she had was the position. Very interesting. Okay, so let's talk about moving forward now because there was at least a 13 point difference between uh, Vallis and Johnson, but now there's only two in the race. So moving forward, what do you think each candidate is going to have to do to get those other voters and endorsements in their direction? Well, you couldn't have two opposites in terms of ideology and the Democratic Party. You talk about both wings of the party, this is it. And so people have to really decide what they want in terms of which direction they want the city to go in. Do they want to have a progressive city or do they want to go back to the machine? And, and that's what these two people represent. Uh, the last progressive mayor that we had was Harold Washington. We have not had a progressive mayor since. And so we have to see if that's the kind of city we want a city that was prospering, a city that was good for everybody, a city that uh, believed in equity. Do we want that kind of leader or do we want a leader who is uh, part of the old guard? And yes, Ballas said all the right things last night. Mm -hmm. He tried to hit on everything that he thought would bring in all corners of the city. And he's gonna have to continue to do that. And that may alienate some of his original people. But you can bet that the white wealthy Republicans who wrote him checks in this first half of the race are, are writing checks right now to make sure he becomes the mayor for the second half of the race. Okay, Delmarie, real quick, because we're out of time. Some big endorsements we're waiting to hear about. Uh, Willie Wilson, Chewy Garcia, <laughs> Mayor Lightfoot. Any predictions? What are you seeing and what difference will endorsements from these candidates make? Well, I would say that Chewy Garcia, I can't imagine he, him not endorsing uh, 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 Brandon Johnson. Uh, they're both from the progressive wing of the party. And Willie Wilson, I mean, he sounded a lot like Paul Vallis. Uh, they made friends on the campaign trail. But one would hope that uh, Willie Wilson would look at uh, turning the page. Yeah, okay, well, we will have to wait and see. Always a pleasure to talk to you as you break this down for us. I'm sure we will be talking again as we continue to go into the runoff stage now. Thanks again, Delmarie. Good to see you. Thank you. Okay. Let's head over to.